What's up guys, Dave Mate, Mind Pedals. Let's go again, another video. Uh, last week we spoke about whether you're gonna do the work or you're not gonna do the work. Whether you're gonna fall into that oversimplification I made where you're going to be active, get things done, make things happen, or you're gonna fall into uh, you know, laziness indolence, what have you. Today I kind of want to fine tune that discussion, just speak for a few minutes and talk about focus. Now the interesting thing I want to talk about is forcing yourself. Now this is kind of a hard topic to explain because you either understand what I'm talking about or you don't. You wake up in the morning, you got things to do. Whether it is you go to a job, or you run your own business, or you're an artist, or a number of all of these things put together, because these things, can, you know, they're not always mutually exclusive. Sometimes they all work together. And you know what you have to do, you know what needs to be done, but there's times when you're just like, I don't want to do it, uh, I don't feel good, or, uh, I'm just feeling pretty lazy. I think it's at those moments when you have to force yourself to act. I know this very well because there's been many, many times, it happens to be honest almost every single day where I'm just like, okay, you know, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this art that I need to do. I don't want to do this aspect of my business that I know that I need to do. But it's at that very instance, that very moment when I have to make the decision whether I'm going to fall into despondency or fall into you know laziness or fall into you know just kind of zoning off maybe call up some friends and do you know nothing just chill out or am I going to get the work done that I need to do that day that I set out to do it takes that little gear in your mind that needs to be turned are you either going to turn it and do the work or you're just not and the word that comes to mind is force Force focus. You have to force yourself to focus sometimes. Almost every time because that's what focusing is. There's a sort of forcing that needs to take place. Now when I use this word force, don't take the connotation of you know negativity or aggression or you know being brute. That's not the connotation I'm, I'm using to represent this word force. I'm using this word force more along the lines of will. Are you going to will yourself to do that? Or are you going to just fall by the wayside and the things that you had to get done that day just don't get done? And isn't your life just a huge accumulation of the things that you got done in respect to the things that you haven't gotten done? So if there's more and more days of things that add up that you haven't done, then your life becomes just a drag and nothing gets done and all you do is continue to dream and all you could do is continue to theorize and hypothesize and wonder and wander and nothing gets done. The obstacle never gets completed. But if your life becomes an accumulation of willing yourself and forcing yourself to do what you know needs to be done, then your life becomes brilliantly constructed, construct, constructed with these bricks, these bricks of your dreams, and these dreams are not just dreams anymore, they're coming and manifesting into physical reality because you were able to force yourself to focus. And it may have been hard, and you may have missed out on some things that you wanted to do, some indulgences that your emotions said that you wanted to do, go hang out or you know, just go read books and do nothing. Not saying those things are bad, I do those things. But there's a time for those things and there's a time for the work that you know that needs to be done. 